I'm Simi Dre. So in my last video, I spoke about the things I regretted on my wedding day, but we can't just focus on the bad stuff. So today I wanted to tell you about like the top things I'm super glad I did when it came to planning my wedding. Planning a wedding, no matter the size of it, is stressful and can be very overwhelming. And the first thing is, I'm just glad that I got a wedding planner. Now, I know there's some people who prefer to plan their weddings on their own, but you guys need to understand that I am Nigerian and I'm also the first child, my parents' first child, to get married. So it was a big affair. It was a big deal. I invited 700 people, but I catered for 1,000 people at my wedding. Nigerian families are very big. <laughs> And Nigerians love weddings, like it's a whole culture here. So I definitely needed a wedding planner. When it came to the wedding ceremony itself, I spoke to the priest beforehand and I created the order of service because one thing I wanted to do was to make sure it didn't drag on for too long. So we made it concise, straight to the point, so that our guests wouldn't have to sit down and wait for it too long. So I'm glad I spoke to the priest beforehand and we were literally on the same page because we had our service outside in the garden and I was worried that like it was gonna be too hot and uncomfortable for our guests. So we kept it short and sweet. Then because I had a lot of people at my wedding, we only did reserved seating for my parents and my husband's parents and we had reserved seating for our VIP guests which included our important clients. Everyone else could sit wherever they wanted and I preferred that because it meant that our guests had to mingle and interact with each other and it took a lot of stress off my shoulders. When it came to my outfits, one thing I hear from some brides is that they weren't too happy with how they looked on their wedding day because they didn't fully choose their outfits. They were influenced by their friends or family members. But I made sure that my outfits were exactly what I wanted. And I've heard some of your feedback about my outfits on my shorts videos. It's not everybody's cup of tea, and it doesn't have to be everyone's cup of tea, but it was what I wanted specifically for my wedding. So I'm super happy. I designed every outfit myself, and the designers brought my vision to life. So. I had no regrets about how I looked on my wedding day. Down to my hair, I chose my hairstyle. It is a hairstyle that I had wanted for a very long time. And bear in mind, in Nigeria, it's not really a traditional hairstyle. Most wedding hairstyles in Nigeria are updos. And I'm so happy with the hairstylist I chose because when I spoke to her about the type of hairstyle I wanted, I told her that I wanted, it wasn't really a ponytail. It was, there was like a bump, you know those like, is it 80s bumps in the hair um, and then it was loose all the way back so when I told her that this was my first choice I then showed her a more traditional updo and I asked her if I should go for this instead but she said no this first choice of yours is different it's unique and it's what you really want and I'm super glad that I listened to her because I was just so happy with the way I looked on my wedding day like it was perfect for me so Make sure your outfits are exactly what you want and don't let anybody influence your decision. On the topic of outfits, I took pictures of all my wedding outfits before the ceremony started because you know, once the ceremony starts, right? Like Because once the ceremony starts right, you could start sweating, your hair might get a little bit messed up, your makeup might not be as fresh, and I didn't want any of that. So I had to wake up early, like super early, like five o'clock in the morning <laughs> to start my hair and makeup, but honestly speaking, it was worth it. I also bought a steamer because guys, even though we were all so careful with my wedding dresses, when we shipped them from my house to the hotel where I slept in the day before the wedding, it got crumpled. There were creases in it. And obviously there's no way I'm going to like go and iron this dress. So I got a steamer and my PA and my maid of honor, my sister, we stayed up all night making sure there were no creases in my wedding dress. So get a steamer, it is super, super, super important just to make sure your outfits just look crisp and clean. 
Now, for some reason, right, I don't understand it, and I know this is universal. Whenever you speak to vendors about weddings, the price gets marked up by 100%. Like, weddings are expensive. Regardless of this, I made sure I negotiated with every single vendor, and even got some vendors to throw in some freebies for me. So yeah, with the vendors I use, like, none of them charged me their full prices, and it just went such a long way, you know, such a long, long way. The thing is, if you never ask, you may never receive. And then finally, you have got to enjoy your day. Now, I'm a little bit of a perfectionist, but on my wedding day, I refuse to start looking at the flaws in my wedding. I was just there to be a princess. I didn't want to hear about anybody's problems or anybody's issues. I just wanted to enjoy my day and be as present as possible. Guys, when it came to my after party, I think I was a little too present. <laughs> Because, because I felt so overwhelmed with the whole wedding planning and preparation and going to Ibadan for my traditional wedding, coming back to Lagos, at one point I lost my appetite. So the week leading up to my wedding, I literally was not eating because I had no appetite. The day of my wedding, <laughs> there was just so much adrenaline, excitement, feeling of being overwhelmed. I still could not eat. But when it got to my after party, I was drinking on... <laughs> more or less an empty stomach and obviously everything just went straight to my head I climbed up onto the stage next to the DJ and I was just like dancing in front of all my friends and family members but it was beautiful I had such an incredible time it is so important to be as present as possible on your wedding day because this day literally just comes and goes just like that you spend months and months and months and months planning your big day and it's over in 24 hours so make sure you enjoy every second of it but yeah these are the things that went such a long way when it came to my wedding and if you are a bride to be or planning your wedding i hope these tips help but let me know if you have any more questions you can write them in the comment section and i will answer and of course don't forget to like to share and to subscribe <laughs> bye